What's going on guys? I wanted to go ahead and do another video about something that I have really just been wondering on. And I have. I really have been wondering on this. And it's made me... I really don't know how to say it, but the way I want to say is... For anyone that is a YouTuber, or is a content creator, or is a, just a creator in general, right? And I want to say there's a lot of people out there that I personally follow that I have stopped following, or I no longer follow, or I do understand some of the things they say and do, but then again, I don't. Now, now let me under, let me give you guys an example on what this what this topic actually is. There are ones that I have followed, and they, or or I, or I used to follow, or I don't follow anymore, and it makes me wonder what exactly do they do that makes them get free stuff. Or supposedly free stuff. Or, or made them go to this event. Or whatever have you. Now what I'm talking about are these ones that are YouTubers, streamers, stuff of that nature. And before anyone says, oh because you're jealous or because this. No, I'm not jealous. I'm wondering why exactly they get to go when what exactly are they doing. All they're really doing is talking about the same product like so many other people are doing. Either like myself or others. And they get what? Su supposedly selected because they're kissing the asses of these companies. Of these, you know, people. And, and that's how it feels. Because there are ones that I, that I again, that I have, you know, heard of. Or I follow, or I follow, that I will go be nameless on, is they will, like one, I know that he made a comment about complaining about he never had a PS5, and then he kept talking about it over and over and over and over before a game came out, and then the game still has yet to come out, and he got a PS5, because the company sent him one. And it's like, bro, how, how, how'd you manage that? When there's so many people out there that still don't have a PS5, I'm having to make payments on mine because I had to go about it another way just so I could have one. And yeah, I tried that. What happened? I had ones going, oh, well, there's some out there. You just got to find it. Or, oh, you got to pay this amount of money. Or, oh, well, what well, good can you do? It's things like that. Or going to an event and you're, you're hyping up this movie or hyping up this game when the game's crap or the game's this or the game's that. And it just makes you look fake. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to be that kind of person. I'm not going to have, like, oh, well, you can go to this movie. Or you can go to this just so I could get some, some what, like 20 minutes of fame from, from taking pictures on a carpet and, you know, talking to some people. That's unfortunately, you know, unfortunately how these things happen is you're going to these events when you're doing all these videos about the same topic and then you're able to go and you get lucky and you pretty much put on a mask and become this fake ass person even more than what you already seem to be just to impress these people so you can get your 20 minutes of fame and then you're going to be forgotten and then you're going to do the same thing over and over and over again and the only people that are going to know you are who's following you on twitter instagram tiktok whatever and i get tired of seeing that crap i really do and what i mean by that is oh you want it i want recognition for my work for my content that is what i want i don't want something handed to me for free what i want is recognition for me talking about a certain topic, whether it be a movie, a game, an anime, something, not to go, oh, well, since you've been doing all this, you get to go. Now, probably these people do deserve that because of their content being amazing or whatever. Okay, cool. I can accept that. But some of these other people that get stuff pretty much handed to them on a silver platter when they're showing nothing but junk it makes me wonder, okay, why is their content getting better views, better this, better chances than someone like me or some of these other people that I know personally. There's ones that I know personally that they deserve, you know, what some of these other people are getting. Or some of the ones that I even follow. I'm like, hmm, why is this guy haven't gotten picked up yet by this by this sponsor? Or or why isn't this girl gotten picked up by this sponsor? It's stuff like that that are reason why low YouTubers like myself have a hard time of getting recognized by YouTube, by any kind of streaming company like twitch youtube itself or a gaming company or g fuel 
or something of that nature that do not give the chance to say, hey, let's give this person a shout. And then anyone that sends me a shout, guys, I get constantly get fake emails, not only fake emails, but these, oh, we'll send you this or we'll do this or we'll promote this or we'll promote this, but you got to pay them just so you can get promoted. Or you have to do this so you can get a promotion or you got to do this to do that. No, I'm not going to do none of that stuff. I'm not going to give out my money for something where it's more likely I'm going to get scammed on. I'm not going to do that. I work hard for my money, just like anyone else in this world. I don't stay, uh, guys, here, here's the thing you don't know about me. I work a job five days a week, okay? And I do other things on the side so I can make more money. And it's all, I'm, I'm going to say this now. Yes, it's all legal. I'm just going to say that now before someone makes a smart comment. You know, I do, you know, some selling of different things here and there. You know, I have um, different, you know, ones that say, hey, make me a music video. or Hey, do, do this, do this, do this. Or help, make, make me a video on this. And I'll pay you. Okay, cool. But my job is from literally from the time I wake up between 530 in the morning for personal, then to work at 8 o'clock to at the end of 6 30 or 7 p.m that night it's constantly working whether it be on a video for you guys whether it be professional work or personal life work or whatever it never stops and then for some of these ones whether they be in school whether they be on playstation all day pc all day xbox all day or youtube all day making all these videos Great. There are people, there are guys, there are ones that I know that are making bomb ass content that definitely deserve what they get. They do. And I fully, I fully will admit that. There are ones that I follow this day that I would love to meet and that I would definitely love to do a video with. That I would love to say, hey man, or hey, thank you, you know, for making this video, you know, for a fan like me, you know, because you, you made me think differently on my videos, or you made me think differently about this topic, where it be about Dragon Ball, uh, One Piece, Star Wars, um, something gamey, anything. I mean, just anything. But for these ones to do the same topic over and 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 over, and for the way that they're talking about it, and then they get recognized by these ones, and then they plead, and, and they pretty much beg for something, and then they finally get it after whining for so long. It just makes you sit back in your chair and go, "Is that what it takes? Is it to whine?" And so long, it's like, like, like you whine to your parents for so long, like, "Mommy and Daddy, can I have this bike? Can I have this bike? Can I have this bike?" And after like the tenth or fifteenth hundredth time, they finally give in and give it to you. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. And I don't go on here saying, oh, um, give me this, give me this. No. Guys, the only thing I ask for is a thumbs up for a video. That is it. That is, that is it. I've never asked nobody for money. I've never asked nobody for a sponsorship. I've never asked anybody for that. I want to earn it because of what I do, not because of who I am, where I come from, what I look like, whatever. Nothing. That is how I am. That is how I was raised. And a lot of people have forgotten about that. Some people, they get handed things because of one, where they look, who, 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 how they look, where they come from, or by other things. And that is a fact. That is not an opinion. That is an actual fact. And I'm sorry if people don't, if you don't want to believe that, but it is true. And... A lot of people, they get better opportunities because of that rather than other people. And I'm unfortunately one of those people. And I figure I'd just go ahead and say my piece on this because, again, I think that I have a right to say this because I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut about it and something that irritates me because there's a lot of friends that I know that have a lot of talent or people that I've seen that have a lot of talent and they don't get recognized. And they should. But for some reason, these other people out here that have maybe some weird kind of talent that other people find interesting or they think that they deserve money for in actuality that they don't. So, guys, I'm pretty much maybe just be venting at this point or rambling. Um, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. But either way, if you do, great. If not, that's fine. Um, comment below what you think about this. Um, you know, comment what you think. If you you sympathize with what I'm saying or you don't sympathize with what I'm saying. But again, I'm just, I'm tired of different ones getting better recognition than others that deserve it. So that's all I got to say about this. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you as always on the next one.